Hello everyone, welcome back to LaShurn's Kitchen. As you know, my name is LaShurn, and today we're actually going over daily readings for devoted living. This right here is the booklet, so you can actually check it out. Uh, right now we're on day four. The topic for today is a training course in obedience. And we're going to be going through Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. So it's only 10 verses, so we got this. Before I begin, I'm going to start it off with a prayer. Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for every blessing. I ask you to clear our minds so that we can focus on your word. Oh Lord, just help it to seep into us. Help us to meditate on what you need us to hear. And prepare us for everything. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. So like I said, uh, today we're going over a training course in obedience. Our daily verses are going to be from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And I'll go ahead and start off with the reading. In today's passage, Peter's initial interaction with Christ seems unimportant. We assume Jesus asked Peter for the use of his boat which meant that the weary fisherman put aside his cleanup duties in order to steer the craft for an itinerant preacher. It was a small decision, but Peter ended up with a front row seat for a miraculous display of Jesus' power that day. Then, Peter obeyed Jesus' second request to let down the nets for a catch, even though doing so contradicted his expertise in fishing. The results were incredible, a catch so great that a second boat had to come and take part of the haul. Though Peter probably considered both of these decisions fairly insignificant, Jesus found them telling. He was preparing the disciple and teaching him to follow. It's often obedience in the small details that prepares the believer for obedience in all things. What Peter did with regard to the boat and net eventually convinced him that giving up everything to follow Christ was the wisest choice. This is how God teaches us to follow His will too. Our decisions can set us on a course to fulfill God's good purpose for our life in His kingdom, if we choose to heed His voice. Man, that's pretty deep. The one thing that I loved about that passage is whenever it said, it's often obedience in the small details that prepares the believer for obedience in all things. It's like whenever you have kids or you have parents or you have uh, people under you as a manager. And the main thing is, is you need someone that's going to be obedient. Not obedient in their whole life situation, everything like that. No, just listen to what needs to be done. To understand that you are in control. And that you know what's best. Man, that's deep. So now we can go and get into our daily verses, which is going to be from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And this right here is going to be in the New International Version, NIV. So if you need, go and grab your Bible, grab your tablet, or grab your phone. You can pull it up either way, and we'll go and get started. The subtitle for this passage is Jesus Calls His First Disciples. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats, left there by the fishermen, who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water, and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I'll let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken, and so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. 
Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. Man! Deep thought moment. If someone knows more than you, and they try to tell you something, and you're disobedient to them, does that make you foolish or stubborn? Just saying. Right there, Jesus told Simon Peter, who's a master fisherman, so if he already had his boats and everything set and he had, he had John, James and John working with him, that means that he's on top of it. He, had to, he called them to come. He's like, hey, hey, y'all two, come over here. I need help. Bring that boat. There's too much fish. Y'all ain't doing anything. So that right there shows a little bit of power. And then whenever Jesus was right there and he said, hey, look, go out into the water, toss the net, and you'll catch fish. You got to think about this. At the beginning, they're saying that they were already up on shore, cleaning the nets because they hadn't caught anything. They're already done. They're like, look, we're done for the day. And then here's this, this preacher man sitting here talking about God, telling me to hop in my boat, to go out into the water, so that way he could do his thing. That takes patience. That takes obedience. Would you be able to do it? If someone came up and said, hey, I need your help. Do this. And then he went out there and said, toss the net off to the side. That's deep. Toss the net off to the side and you'll catch fish. And instead of arguing with him, telling him, oh, that makes no sense, he did it. And he caught such a great amount of fish that he had to bring in an extra boat. Are there times in life where you feel that God is telling you something? And you just don't feel like being obedient or it doesn't make any sense whatsoever? So you try to go your own way? I'm here to tell you, have faith. There's going to be certain times, especially right now, to where everything's going crazy. And God's going to tell you, look, be patient. Hold on. Listen to me. Just saying. And whenever they came back in, it was just like, hey, Lord, you were right. You told me not to not to walk out in the rain because I was going to get sick. You see my afro? You know what soaks up water? But I was ignorant. I still walked out into the rain. Came back in. Sniffle, sniffle. Cough, cough. Sometimes you got to listen. And at that point in time, be humble. Be humble and admit that you were wrong. It's okay. Our God is an awesome God. He forgives us. He loves us. Think about it. Whenever he came back in, Jesus told Simon Peter, and then James and John, the sons of, Je of Zebedee, he said, hey, from now on, you're no longer going to be fishermen. You're going to be fisher of men. You're going to go out and you're going to be able to capture people, capture people's hearts. You're going to tell them about love, about the teachings, about the gospel of God. Isn't that crazy? These right here were the first disciples. The first ones. Like, there's a book of James. In day three, I let y'all know that John, he wrote the book of John, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, and also Revelation. This right here was the, the disciple that, that Jesus loved. And Simon Peter became one of the disciples. One of Jesus' twelve that he trusted with his heart. And then in the time of Jesus' trouble, he disowned Jesus three times before morning. Man. That's deep. Sometimes it just takes disobedience in order for us to understand what's right. Every time we do wrong, we learn a lesson. And I just pray that 
we all learn our lessons in due time. In enough time. Hey. I love y'all. I'm going to close it out with a prayer. Lord. Help us to love. Help us to be obedient and help us to understand all that you have set forth for us. In our times of of trials and tribulations and every storm that we're going to be going through. Help us to listen to you, to listen to your voice and to, to understand that you above all control everything. You not only know the test or set the test, you, you, you know the length of it. Help us to understand that. Continue to be with us and give us strength. Continue to Teach us obedience and show us your ways. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, comment if you have any questions whatsoever, and tell a friend. Like it. Yeah, you have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next video.